Well, hello, hello. This is Rose RCG Creations. How are you doing? Bringing you today. We're going to be making over at the stove top. Oh, you can't see. There we go. I want you to be able to see what's in the stove top. It's going to be cooking. We're going to be making some cranberry orange sauce. We're, I'm going to a function tomorrow. And I vote I signed up to make the cranberry sauce. And I'm making it instead of opening a can and using a can. <laughs> so, the like, recipe calls for... We're going to combine one cup of water, and bear with me. We're going to put the stove top on medium heat. Oop, I need my front burner. So medium heat. Okay. One cup of sugar. I already had pre-measured everything, so it'd be easy. And I could stay in ahead of my uh, fi stay within my 15-minute time frame. Okay, we're gonna do one package, 12 ounces of fresh or frozen, either one. I got hubby went in the store for me and got me some fresh ones. Okay, and the water's in there, the sugar's in there, the cranberries are in there. One fourth cup of orange juice plus three tablespoons of orange juice because we're not using the triple sec. You can do the triple sec, triple SEC, that's a liquor. One fourth cup of that, but we're not doing that. So I, because you could either do the triple sec or you can add orange juice either way. Okay, and then I did, you do want to zest one and a half teaspoons of zest because I freshly squeezed these oranges. I just did it just before I came on the air. Let me get me. I want to get a nice, good, sturdy spoon. My old traditional metal, nice Teflon hard spoon. Let me stir that a little bit. And basically, all you do is stick it in here. In a large saucepan, you want to combine the cranberries, the sugar, the water, the triple sec, and the orange juice. Cover over medium heat until berries pop, which is about 15 minutes. Then you're going to remove it from the heat. You're going to stir in the orange zest. And then you're done. You can't get any simpler than that. So let me get my lid for this pot. And we'll bring you back when we're totally done. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, we are back and they all started popping. You'll hear them go pop, pop, pop. And it took right around 10 minutes. And see how they all popped? You see that? And then it says, remove from heat, stir in orange zest. So let's remove the heat. We're going to stir in the zest. Sorry you can't see, but I'll bring you the camera over to the other side. Move this over here. And I wasn't paying attention and then it kind of overflowed. You see the juices coming out there? So now I got a big mess I gotta clean up. But that's part of cooking. Okay, so my zest is right there. You see that? The orange zest. Let me stir that in. Oh, it smells so good. I wish we had smell a vision Man, you can really smell it. Mm, yum, yum, yum. And if you want it more mushy, go ahead and get yourself a masher, which I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to mash it just a little bit. So it's more, oops, sorry. Hit the back of the camera. Got a little bit more smashed up cranberries. And this will thicken because uh, you put it in another dish. 
and then you're going to put it and you're going to in the fridge and you're going to ser uh, chill serve it chilled until you're ready to serve now this you this recipe you can eat cold or you can eat hot totally up to you and this recipe is also really really good to put over a grilled chicken meatloaf uh, any kind of meat grill baked sauteed and add this on top as a dressing for some sauce on top of your meat or dip it on put it on the side of your plate and have it as a condiment to dip your meat into with your other sauteed vegetables or other baked vegetables cooked vegetables heated up vegetables whatever it is that you want to do and I'm going to let that cool off in just a second then I want to do a taste test but I got to use a spoon because this is going to be give, bring to a party and I don't want to be double dipping so let's take a look oh yeah you can definitely taste the orange from the orange juice and the orange zest that's really good I like it just the way it is so now we're done I'll bring you back once it's totally chilled which will be probably tomorrow morning and we'll do the reveal but basically we just did a taste test and as far as I'm concerned let me get another spoon we are totally done You get to see me do a taste test. Let me bring it back. Let me bring it back up. Okay. It is hot. Mm-hmm. You can definitely taste the orange juice. And of course, it'll once it's the longer that it sits together, it's gonna meld and combine with all the juices and the flavor of the sugar and everything together. So now let's bring it back down. And we pour this into this pot because this pot's going to go in the fridge. Whoops. Be careful because this is hot. Thank goodness I have my apron on. cool off just a little bit and there we go I'm gonna let that cool down just a little bit clean up my mess wash finish washing my dishes and we'll bring you back more than likely tomorrow um, it might be ready in about two hours I don't know I've never made this before so I don't know how long it's gonna take for it to get thicker so we'll bring you back okay Okay, we are back. It did set. Let me show you. I got it out of the container that I put it in. Because this is going to be transported to a guest, a friend's house. And look at that. See? So, that's going to get sealed. So, let's do a little taste test. Let me bring you up. There is a taste test. Ooh. Ooh, cranberry tarty. <laughs> I'm okay on cranberry. I'm not a big fan of it, but that's what I signed up for because it was something quick and easy. So anyway, we thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. This is my take on a cranberry, what's it called? Uh, oh, what's it called? Cranberry, cranberry orange okay one more time cranberry <laughs> orange sauce <laughs> I almost spilled look at that I just barely made it thank you so much for watching you have a good one take care now bye bye